Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is about these little oscillators again. Um, I had a couple questions through them and um, I thought I'd just show you how it works basically. So um, here's the basic schematic. If you guys wanted to screenshot that or whatever. So this set up just like a Bendy uh, Bedini circuit um, except your negative wire that usually comes down goes up to the positive and joins there. So the positive comes in and um, it forces it to go through the small coil trigger the transistor transistor fires and the main coil fires at a different polarity so when this has this huge magnetic field that shuts this one off and then it just repeats and to collect the back spike you just put a diode right on the top and come down and then it goes to the second battery and the second battery is set up in series so the positive of the primary goes to the negative um, of the secondary and then your positive output goes through there so you can see why you can't um, loop it back because if you put this to the positive it's basically hooked right to the negative of the output so it just makes a direct short and um, then you have the resistor there, resistor there um, you could use all different types of transistors for that and these are one to one and that's just the basic schematic and how it works so um, I had a question about putting another coil on top of here to try to get back extra energy. So um, let's fire this up. I have it hooked up to this battery setting at 1282. So let's turn this on. And um, as it's charging up, so we're going to set this coil right on top. And nothing really happens. But because all the energy is being extracted over here, but if you disconnect this main this charge battery now you have power on the secondary coil but it's either there or here so it's more efficient just to go to here to the second battery um, but there is kind of a neat thing that you could do so let's turn this off that battery charges pretty fast and um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to disconnect this battery and um, let's hook it up this one back here. So you just saw it with just charging the battery direct. So what we're going to do now is hook it up to this cap dump. And this cap dump is set up for 36 volts. So 36 volts. Um, this is 40,000 mics and 100 volts but we're only going to be charging to 36 so you can see this battery 12.6 and um, what we're going to do now is fire this back up so let's get this thing going again so now as um, you can see the amp meter as it's charging up this cap down What's interesting is when you have a second coil on, as it charges up, uh, you actually get some light back. And then when it fires down, you get nothing. But as that potential is getting higher in the capacitor, um, some of the energy is getting backed up in the coil. And uh, you can't actually extract some of that. So you see here, so watch as it charges. You'll see right when it makes the peak there, your light's the brightest. And then when it discharges, you got nothing. So we can look at it on the scope over here too. So yeah, I thought that was kind of a neat experiment. But um, also though, if you take this coil off, use a little bit less power. So when you put this on, see it kind of goes forward. So I'd say the most efficient thing to do is just leave this how this is but but it is an interesting experiment so um, if you guys want to build that this is the basic schematic um, if you're not used to winding coils and doing circuits I have this available on my website um, this one's already tuned and researched and this one runs at 12 12 kilohertz so it's a very very efficient little machine so if you can't build stuff like this I would just suggest buying it because it's all ready to go so Anyway guys, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.